told me the Moonlit Fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Third wish. Let's see what's written this time. Again? I'm so over this cheesy old play. There are way better ones. Come on, switch it up. What about Rainbow Mirror? I'll be Flea Ranger. You be a psychic being controlled by the monsters. No way. Why do I always have to be the one getting beat up? I don't want to play the bad guy. We pinky sweared last time, remember? If I don't get to play as Flame Ranger, I'm not playing with you anymore. All right, all right. Let me think. Then let's do Deep Sea Rescue. You can be Flame Ranger and I'll be the sidekick. That good enough for ya? Oh, I see what you're up to, Momo. Trying to trick me again. In Deep Sea Rescue, the Flame Ranger falls into the villain's trap and gets beat up at the start. So I'll still be the one getting whacked. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Mon if you keep doing this. Wait till he comes back. He'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Cha, you think telling Mon's gonna help you? With him around, you'll never get the chance to be Flame Ranger. <laughs> At least I won't get beat up by you all the time. Hey, where did this weird grown up with a flying bunny come from? Mom's not here. I'm in charge. Wanna play with us? Okay? Then you can be a monster. Detected. New name entry. Bunny. Processing speed increased to 150%. Processor temperature 90 degrees. 91 degrees. 92 degrees. I'm here, don't worry. I'm overriding Shang Li's processor. One moment, please. Recorded. New name entry. Bunny. Phew! I almost wet my pants. So, you're looking for Mom, huh? He's not here right now, but if it's important, you can tell me, and I'll pass it on to him, word for word. Lee's being a show-off again. We haven't seen Mon for days. No way you can tell him anything. 
not true. We're doing one of his favorite plays tomorrow. He'll definitely show up. We did a play yesterday and one before that. I don't remember him showing up. Where was he? Uh... Oh, you suck, Momo. <laughs> We usually play together in the city or watch hero plays at the theater. Oh, and we have a secret base. Detected. Keyword, secret base. Mm, Mom says it's top secret and we can't tell anyone. What? Really? He did mention before that there's this flame power growing inside of him, and he's about to become a great hero, just like Flame Ranger. Well, I guess you don't look like a bad person, so... If you do find him, please don't tell him I told you about the secret base. Oh, oh, and remember to tell him to come back and play with us soon. Leave it to me. Mister, I, I, it's a secret. Well, you did just save me from that TD, so, all right, you can be the only grown up that I tell. <clears throat> I, Mon, am about to awaken my forte. You know, in the hero plays, every great hero is a resonator with their own unique, super cool forte. Some of them are born with it. And some have to journey to distant mountains and secret caves to train all alone. And then, after years of training, a tacit mark finally appears. Forte Awaken! <laughs> That's my favorite part. That's why I've been eating all my veggies and going to bed early lately. I want to be ready to spend the whole day at this secret base. Training. I try to practice every move I can think of from the place, hoping my forte will awaken soon. Um, not really. But I've come up with a new plan. You know how Flame Ranger gets stronger the more danger he's in? They call it a forte boost. So I thought, why not find a scary monster and try to fight it? Uh, 
That was an accident. I've no idea where it came from. If I'm gonna be a great hero, I have to find an enemy that's even stronger than a TD. But, but, ugh. Then you tell me, what should I do to awaken my fort? Absolutely, it's a must. Every hero in the plays is a resonator with a forte. Becoming a hero means I can protect all my friends. None of us will ever need to be scared again. Besides, being a hero is just the coolest. Every hero play, all my... If you know so much about it, then what should I do? Oh, you sound like my mom. Come on, don't treat me like I'm just some kid. I do know a few warriors. They know firsthand what it means to be a hero. What if I write down some of their quests and daring feats for you? Real heroes, real stories. It might give you some ideas. Wow, really? Are they even more awesome than the heroes in the plays? When will you show me these stories? I want Lee and Momo to see them too. Time, location, event, notification, the Moonlit Fair. The Moonlit Fair, right in the middle of the festival. It would be the perfect draw for the children in Jinjo. Thankfully, I've still got some time to get everything ready for Mon's wish before it starts. How about this? The Moonlit Fair on the day of the Moon Chasing Festival. I'll have the stories with me. Pinky promise? Yes! It's a pinky promise then! Can't wait to see you there! I happen to catch the boy's wish. He aspires to heroism, a feat of spirit that humbles even a grown man like myself. His wish comes from a place of real valor and sincerity. However, he wishes to become a hero by awakening his forte. Awakening a forte is an intricate process, and the disparity between a resonator and an ordinary person's abilities is significant. In our current time frame, I must confess, the Academy's current research in this domain is rather limited. If we are to approach it from this angle, I'm afraid I may not be able to help the boy much, at least before the Moonlit Fair arrives. I concur. Thinking back on a few scenes from the hero plays, Flame Ranger did not rely solely on his forte and abilities to achieve his heroic feats. Courage, perseverance, and support from his companions were all indispensable elements. Your idea of finding a real-life role model to show the boy a more grounded version of heroism is indeed a viable approach. So, have you decided who this hero should be? A fine suggestion. I have always admired the magistrate of Jin Zhou. However, any form of recording within the city hall would require a prior clearance. With the moonlit fair on the horizon, time may not allow it. Actually, the person I have in mind embodies courage, perseverance, and leadership with steadfast companions who would stand by him, never backing down even in the face of powerful enemies. There's no need to look far. You are the most suitable candidate.
Your actions alone in saving Jinjo have earned you the title of hero. A true hero is defined not by grand gestures, but by their actions. Authenticity is key. Just chronicle your daily life and let your true self shine through. The Pangu Terminal can record your daily activities. Before you begin, I'll make some enhancements to provide you with additional assistance. Thank you for your hard work so far. It will take some time to analyze the fourth wish. I'll contact you after it's complete. The moonlit fair is approaching. I hope that all the wishes in the Moon Tree Lodge will soon come true.
was fair in war. Come take a look at- Welcome to the Pioneer Association store. Let me help you redeem your items. Come take a look at our official merch.
the prey now. All is fair in war. Shadow descent. Guide me.
wind guidance.
Rover? Psst. I'm hungry. Panwa's got a must-try disc for the moon team. Let's go try it out. Hello? What's up, Chisha? Hey, Rover. You've been to the Wishing Tree, 
right? What did you wish for? Did it come true? Oh, wait. It can't be that fast. Just leave it here, Truth, yeah? Gotcha. Still busy with the preparations? Almost finished. It's crazy here with all these people bustling around. You hear the buzz from our side? Need to double check the procedure. Hmm? Did I just see Madame Magistrate? Was it just me? Indeed. Everyone's really giving their all for this year's moon chasing festival. Oh, and the Loom Dance performance is happening tonight. Come away with us, Rover. I've secured the best seats. Hooray! That settled them. We'll be waiting for you then. Anything you want to say to Rover, Ying Yang? Me? Uh, but I'm not ready. Okay, um... How are you? I'm looking forward to enjoying the Moonlit Fair. And you, but... Uh, please, come early if people have been prepared. I just send the coordinates to your terminal. See you there! restaurant then <laughs> let's eat there with yang yang and the others later yeah wait i smell something delicious it's the real deal for my empty tummy i just know it isn't that hello rover can you come to the moon tree lodge Hey, are you done deciphering that fourth wish? Yes. As I suspected, Patty's malfunction was caused by something else. Understood. I'll be right there. Thank you. I'll see you in the usual spot. Hmm, more trouble to solve, eh? <laughs> Wait. Let's go handle it quickly so we can still make it on time. Mother told me the Moonlit Fair will start when... Field, hate, Pascar, the world. Thank you for coming, Rover. Is that the smell of Sonoro? Patty is now a portal to a Sonoro sphere. Its built up frequencies likely resonated with something and created this. Should we alert the Midnight Rangers? But then, well, then people might think there's another TD outbreak. Now, since a major fight has just happened, I think we should. We'll handle it ourselves. Ah. You're already planning to do so. I can tell. It's written all over your face. <laughs> yes. I've thought it through. I believe that would be the most practical solution. If the Sonoro is benign, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. And worst case scenario, 
If it turns malignant, you'll have no trouble handling it. I just didn't expect you to bring it up first. I guess I wasted time hesitating. You hesitated because of the name Pascar? Yes. He was a close friend of mine. He died from the wave worn. I think if this Sonoro sphere is related to him, it must contain his messages for me. This is my personal request, Rover. Please help me. Sure thing. In fact, I'm also doing this for a personal reason. You are? I promised my friends we'd enjoy the Moonlit Fair together tonight. We can't let this incident ruin the festivity. <laughs> Thank you, Rover. Let's enter the Sonoro now. program. Well, like they say, you wouldn't know what's inside of Sonoro Sphere until you're actually inside it. What's happening? Gunk, the Sonoro is pushing us out! Rover, here! My hand! you're awake. Hmm. I'm glad the Sonora didn't throw us out. But why us? What did we even do? Maybe it has something to do with that Pascar person. Anyway, we should find Shang Li Yao first. Myself. My name's Pascar. They're Modi and Ryan. What's your name? I'm Shang Li Yao. Shang Li Yao? Jeez! You're Mrs. Shang Li Yen son! Whoa! So you're that genius everyone's been talking about? Um. Wow! I heard you've never been second to anyone in school. Mm-hmm. No way! I heard you finished an entire school year's classes in one week! Mm-hmm. That's amazing! And you've solved a century-old problem for the Academy, too? Huh? Is... Is that what they've been saying about me? You're so cool! Chill, boss. You might scare him. You're just like my big sis when she meets her idol. <sighs> Shush! <clears throat> Sorry. I got ahead of myself. By the way, 
We're going to the Moonlit Fair. Care to join us? Are you... sure? <laughs> of course you can! We can make you the new boss, even! The... boss? Uh, yeah, like, our leader. But that's not important. The real question is... Do you want to play with us? I... Uh, sorry. I think I'll stay at home. I must wait for my dad. Your dad? The big inventor mentioned in the headlines? Said he's gone missing. Hey, shut up! Mm. We gotta go now! Come find us anytime you wanna play. I don't like being alone. Don't know if you feel the same. Anyway, we're here. When you need to chat or someone to hang out with. Okay. Oh, that looks like something from Xiang Li Yao's childhood. Hmm. Maybe it's not just his memory. Wait! go through that door now. Let's move! What is this place? A wishing stall? But the decorations don't match this year's theme. Mm, do we need to touch anything or read anything here? Like we did in the last room? There are some wish tags on the floor. Let's read them. Hoping to be heard, missing a departed son, wanting to become a hero. These are the wishes of the people I've helped. There are two more wish tags. can be really sharp. Can't believe I actually got a zero. What a bummer. I'm not even in the mood for wishes now. Still upset about what happened in class? I mean, aren't we supposed to learn by doing? That's what we've been taught since day one. We know next to nothing about the wave-worn phenomena, and our equipment is useless. Shouldn't we go explore it firsthand? <laughs> but how? Should we set up a lab by a wave-worn site like you said in class? It's too risky. If something goes wrong, the staff won't make it. But this is the martyrdom of science, the necessary sacrifice. Like chemists who sampled unknown substances. We must risk it all for the ultimate truth. Really? Do we have to risk it all? Of course. You want food, you pay. You want pay, you work. Give something to get something. When the truth of this world, the ultimate knowledge is on the line, one must be willing to give up everything they have. We'll discuss it later. Modi and Ryan want to catch up. How about meeting them today? I have no time. You've been avoiding them since they failed the entrance exam. It's necessary. As intellectuals, we must walk a solitary path. Those who can't keep up will only hold us back. 
It's best to leave them behind sooner rather than later. Why would a genius like you care about their feelings anyway? With your father as a role model, distraction should be beneath you. Come on, what if they drag you down? But I don't think we have to be lonely as intellectuals. Remember that old Moon Tree Lodge tale from a decade ago? Write a wish, hang it on the wishing tree, and presto, your wish comes true. But let's be real, there's gotta be a person running that show. Because when the word got out, it just stopped working. More wishes were made, but how many actually came true? Not many. See? Not even that unsung hero of the Lodge had time to grant every wish. Our time in this world is limited, so let's focus on the truth, not trivialities. Uh... Trying to organize your arguments to refute me? <laughs> Go ahead if you must, Mr. Genius. You know, I only said that because I value you as my only friend and opponent. I just don't want you to get distracted. It's not satisfying to outdo someone when they're not at their best. Well, that's enough talk for today. I'll make my wish now. Let's see. Well, Wishing Tree, please make the wave warrant happen. Then I can finally study it up close. <gasps> Pascar! <laughs> Chill, dude. Just kidding. As an intellectual, I must prioritize my pursuit of truth. Even if it means a life of solitude, then... Father, why did I find drive shafts of your design in the Moon Tree Lodge? You were never home during moon chasing festivals. Were you busy helping other people? If that's what you did, does it mean I don't really have to be alone? <sighs> what should I do? Hey, Shang Li! What are you doing there? Come on, we gotta go now! Okay. The festival must mean something different to him. Is that why he's running the Moon Tree Lodge after his father's passing? Is that a form of human connection too? Sort of. Are we sharing that kind of connection right now? Well, I'd say you've been haunting me. Like a ghost. Haunting? <laughs> no way! Admit it, I'm just living rent-free in your head. <laughs> sure, if you say so. Now, back to the topic. We've been seeing Pascar and Shangli Yao's past exclusively so far. So? <laughs> Isn't that pretty normal in a Sonora like this? But why can't we get through the doors before Shangli Yao opens them? Uh, strange indeed. It's almost as if he owns this place. Or maybe he holds the key. Is it similar to what Scar did to me? No. I can't tell for sure yet. Let's press on. We need to go deeper to uncover the truth. This room isn't empty. Our research has been great. Hopefully we'll keep this momentum going into the next year. With the progress we've made so far, we'll surely figure out the tacit fields one day. Well, we have Pascar and Sheng Li Yao to thank. Yeah, where did Sheng Li go? He's never here with us during the Moon Chasing Festival. Huh? Huh? 
another failed experiment. When will we invest in better equipment for accurate results? This is pointless. The Wave One has destroyed all our theories. There's no pattern at all. Our research has been a waste of time. It's all your fault. We need Shang Li Yao. Pascal, where is Shang Li Yao? Where the hell is he? Circle back. I can't do this anymore. It's over. I'm useless. Nonsense. It's all nonsense. Countless errors. No solution. It's not me. It's them. No. It's the world. The whole world is wrong. <laughs> Where is Shang Li Yao? You're nobody compared to him, Pascal. The others are probably no better than him. My son! I miss you so much! Take me away with you! She's been affected too. has gone crazy. If it ever comes true, I have a feeling it's gonna be hella dangerous. Hmm. I think I know who the remaining two will be. Science doesn't exist. We knew it. We knew it right from the start. The wave one phenomenon defies all laws of physics. And the worst part, it's completely random. We need more data. How are we supposed to study the tacit field in this chaos? I knew it. We never have enough samples. Now, if we could make the wave more disasters happen more often. Don't you try to stop me, cowards. You don't even have the guts to sacrifice for the truth. You all despise me, thinking I'll never surpass Yang Li Yao, right? 
If this were his idea, not a single one of you would object. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I did it! Now I'm just a heartbeat away from success. Stay back! Stay away from here! His wish achieved. He is not guilty. Must it trigger the wave worn tested field? Oh, he can't be serious. So he's gonna trigger the wave worn disaster like Pascar planned to? We shouldn't jump to conclusions yet, not based on a few broken words. He's willing to go to great lengths for other people. He wouldn't want to do that. My friend's quest for truth was genuine till his last breath. I will not let you tarnish his goal like that. Huh? It's Xiang Li Yao. He's right behind this door. But it won't budge. Then I'll smash it open. Huh? By brute force? area of the Sonorosphere. Ascar, are you there? Sorry, Rover. I must go and face him myself. Stop hiding, Pascar. We can talk it out. Listen to me. This isn't what you wished for. Swift and resolute, strike with shadows. Huh. Burial 
Total elimination. Complete overhaul. <laughs> My friend's quest for truth was genuine to his last breath. I will not let you tarnish his gold like that. Stay back! Stay away from here! Uh, the wave worn. Askar, it's me, Xiang Liao. Do you recognize me? Stay back! The wave worn's coming. Stay away from here! Huh? Didn't he set it off in the first place? Calm down. We are safe here. No wave-worn or tacit field around. Nothing's happening to me. See? Shang Liao? Yes, I'm listening. Pascar, what do you want me to know? I should have stayed at the academy. I shouldn't have taken anything without permission. But I did it. I figured it all out. The tacit field's frequency. Made a prototype detector, too. It predicts where the tacit fields are forming. I... I should have kept the documents. Should have informed you. I was thrilled. Blinded by the success. But then my prototype... Gone. Everything gone. The margin of error was too big. Not enough time, not enough range. When I got there, the wave worn had already. Oh, I see. So the wave worn had devoured me. And the last person I saw was. You saw me. Yes. Yes, I remember. It's all coming back to me now. I didn't trigger the wave worn. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And what else? Pen. Give me a pen. I must write down my research results. I must show you. I need a pen. Hurry. Pascar. I've been trying to tell you for so so long. I just want to let you know. I identified the tacit field's special frequency. I... I never hated you. I just... I wanted to save the world. It's all in vain. Now everyone must see me as the culprit. Huh? <laughs> Can't blame you. After what I said, of course you'd... No. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Your research has inspired many. Even attracting interest from the Black Shores. That mysterious organization. They've actually sent one of their consultants to learn about the theory. Even the Black Shores. Their faces couldn't hide the shock. It was truly a sight to behold. Even I burst out laughing. We're still searching for a way to recreate your prototype, but the Pascar Spectrum Theory has gained global recognition and is advancing tacit field research. Pascar... Spectrum? Yes, it's your theory. We named it after you. Our classmates and I, we found your notes after the Waveworn receded. 
After filling in the missing information, we restored this theory and named it after you. <laughs> really? Yes, and we all know it wasn't your fault. So, my research actually helped others? It did, and it will keep on benefiting people. <sighs> That's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected. On my behalf. My wish has come true. Thank you, Wishing Tree. Rover, let's witness Pascar's wish together. When I'm older, I'll be the best scientist ever. I'll help people and everyone will love me. I'll lead the way in making lots of cool discoveries. Pascar, you've been here with us all along. Wow, so that's the real story. We've helped make four wishes come true now. <laughs> or maybe it's actually five. Five? <laughs> but we only have four wish tags here. That must be the exit. Let's get out of here first, Yao. Hey, what did you mean? <sighs> Tell me. Tell me. Are you all right? It's not uncommon to feel a bit queasy after leaving a sonorosphere. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Given the situation is now under control, it should be fine. I will check on Patty, just to be safe. You might need some time alone to process what just happened. Don't worry about me, Rover. I can handle the rest myself. It's just a quick checkup on Patty. Go join the celebration down the mountain. Remember those kids you promised to meet up with? They must be waiting for you. Besides, I need some time to prepare a small gift for you as thanks. I'll uh, catch up with you later. Oh, hey, good to see you again. Thanks to you, Jolie and I can restart our tacit discord research. With our past experience, I'm sure we'll get better results this time. Oh, we've been busy moving the equipment to our new lab. Speaking of that, can you please clean your room? <sighs> Only been a few days and it's a mess already. Piled high with papers, devices and take out. I can't even get in, let alone find what I need. Have you seen Xiang Li Yao's room? It's a perfect example of order out of disorder. I learned it from the genius. And you always find things no matter where I leave them. <laughs> Man, you know my room better than I do. Well, can't deny it. Our colleagues your show organized this event called Swim, Gulp of Swim. We're here to show support. Plus, Chiffon never misses tacit Discord events. <laughs> you know me. Shisho is interested in those monsters too. 
Should we invite her to join our research? More brains, better ideas. Let's get the creative juices flowing. Thanks. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. something else so we we followed you up the mountain and saw you chatting with someone and then poof you two just vanished into thin air we tried to ask for help but all we found was a rabbit robot mr rabbit said you're tough and we'll be okay he told us not to worry about you but come on there's no way we wouldn't worry how can people just disappear my mom said it only happens in hero plays Yeah, we had a plan. If anything went wrong, our boss and Momo would run super fast downhill to get help from the grown-ups. And I'll keep watch in case anything goes down. My eyes don't miss a thing. <laughs> you're welcome. Since you're safe now, can you show us the hero play you mentioned earlier? hero in this video is that his name sounds so familiar. Oh, I know. Grandpa told me you are the hero who saved Jinjo. That's awesome. No wonder you beat that monster with only a few moves. You're a true hero. And the guy fighting with you is incredible. I don't recognize him, but his mecha arm looks so cool. I want to be just like you! But I don't know how to use Forte or what it takes to be a hero. Huh? Despite wanting to go to the Moonlit Fair, you chose to stay here and protect us. You walk the walk, sacrificing your own enjoyment for the sake of others. This is exactly what the Flame Ranger would do. I see. Uh, are you saying that we are the Flame Rangers now? Yes. With your swift feet and keen eyes, you'd make a formidable team, ready to face any challenge. Together, just like me and my mecha arm partner. So, I'm a hero now. And I have my hero squad with Lee, Momo, and Mr. Rabbit. The Moon Tree Lodge really made my wish come true. <laughs> Thanks, Rover. Oh my, Taryun Vale hasn't been this busy in a long time. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> no rush, child. Take a breath. What took you so long when you... <sighs> Packaging. I wrapped the pastry up to keep the warmth. It'll taste better. Please, have a bite, Mrs. Hoeing. I made this myself. And this one's for you, Shang Yuin. Thank you, dear. Mr. Shou Yuan made this pastry for us during previous Moon Chasing Festival. Yes, I really liked it, so I asked him for the recipe. But my son never learned to cook. When did he make this for you? He learned it in the military. 
At first, the food he made was, well, average, but he got better over time. He could make a feast out of even the simplest ingredients. That's how good he was. Cooking's not that hard. I can do it too. Shall I make a meal for you when I get some leave, Mrs. Herring? Thank you. Thank you. The wishing tree is filled with wishes. <gasps> you are. Oh! Sorry! I couldn't see you! My glasses were smudged. Oh, are, are you still looking for that researcher named Xiao Sheng? I asked around, but. No luck. I'm so sorry for being so useless. I... I can ask more people if you want. You can pick any of my paintings as an apology. Please choose one. I insist. Really? Phew. That's good to know. I'm painting. Yeah, lots of people. I can see all of Taoyuan Vale from here. Um, I guess it's everyone down there. I'm not good with people, but their smiles make me feel warm inside too. It's like when I pick up a paintbrush, the warmth just spreads through me. S stunning. No, you flatter me. It's not that good. Just average. is a testament to my connection with the world around me. And it's very much... <laughs> Sorry I kept you waiting, Rover. No worries. Is Patty all right? I found some unusual frequencies inside its body. Not sure if that's the Sonorosphere's influence. Out of safety concerns, I locked it up for the time being. Would, but not this time, because I promised you a gift. Here, please take this. I know you're going to the Moonlit Fair. Here's a camera to capture memories for you to keep.
It can be. <laughs> Maybe I should include it in the employee handbook. <laughs> Not yet. That's why I'm about to write one. I couldn't have solved this so fast without you by my side. Those wishes were their cries for help. Someone had to act fast and save them, or there could have been severe consequences. Thanks to your help, people can see their wishes come true. The fulfilled wishes bring warmth and comfort to be shared by many more. In the end, the Moon Tree Lodge kept its promise to everyone, including Pascar. What about you? What is your wish? My wish? I haven't really thought about it in a while. But I may already know the answer to your question. It's the same reason I'm taking care of the Moon Tree Lodge. I want to follow in our pioneers' footsteps. Those who forsake everything in pursuit of truth, and those who dedicate their lives to the welfare of others. My parents each embodied one path. They were my role models, and I have strived to emulate them both. Their passing left me searching for answers, for a way to find balance between the two. That was why I inherited the Moon Tree Lodge. Still, I've often questioned, how closely should I follow my parents' paths? Should I abandon all social connections in pursuit of the elusive ultimate truth? Like in a certain story. But in the end, you didn't do that. No, I didn't. Because Pascar found me and brought me out of my room. Without him, I never would have known about my father's ties to the Moon Tree Lodge. When Pascar left the Academy, I considered going with him. Perhaps we are the same kind of people after all. I wanted to give up everything for the ultimate truth, but I still craved companionship. That's why I hesitated. Seeking truth can be futile. It's like constantly pushing a boulder uphill, only for the lament to send it back down every time. In this disaster-stricken world, our beliefs, innovations, even entire societies risk falling into oblivion in an instant. Still, someone must push the boulder of curiosity and explore uncharted territories beyond that hill. I've longed to push that boulder, Rover. Perhaps one day, I'll give in to the urge, even if it means leaving everything behind. Because it's there. Hard to resist the temptation when truth feels so close. Almost within reach. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. It's all right. You can venture as far as you need to. You'll always return to open arms. The way you've always tried to clear Pascar's name, how he's done his utmost to tell you the truth, that's what we call a human connection. That's why your memory worked as a key in the Sonorosphere. Have more faith in humanity. The hero who pushed the boulder of truth for us all will be remembered, and the bond between people will endure. Because we are here for you, always. Hey, over here! Your friends are calling out to you. Go. Don't keep them waiting.
They say some vendors offer discounts to people visiting together. Yes, some of them. Well, come with me then. Make it another perk of working for the Moon Tree Lodge. Uh, but I... You have a promise to keep, remember? Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected. On my behalf. <laughs> yes, I do. What's up with you two? Come on, let's go! about time. Behold, the Moonlit Fair's final show. That's the Moon Lantern! Come on! Let's all take a picture together! <laughs> 